Good morning. It's a little after half past six and we're both exhausted <laughs> and neither of us could sleep. Oh dear. My bee's in the shower. I'm on tea duty. I brought our own milk and tea bags just because I prefer them. What is it about knowing you've got to get up early? And worse, being in a travel lodge and knowing you've got to get up early, I just go to bed tense because I think, right, fall asleep, fall asleep because you've got to make sure you fall asleep soon or you're going to be exhausted all night. Just lie there. Tense muscles can't sleep, so that happened. I was awake for hours. There's my cup of tea I've just made. Now, I was just saying to my boyfriend, there's something woefully lacking, and that's like bedside table space. In this day and age, you want at least a glass of water and a phone or something, don't you? You know, for your alarm. Um, but that's all you get. I don't really want to use that. That's technically a light, but there's my eye mask up there. And I'll tell you what else we're short of. Charging ports. There's one there, which is the heater, which we unplugged because it was awfully hot when we came in. And other than that, there's just two over by the kettle, one of which you kind of want for the kettle. But three plugs for the whole of the thing. Like me as a vlogger, I have batteries to charge and a laptop to charge and a phone to charge. And that's just me on my own, let alone my poor boyfriend. He's got a laptop and a phone to charge as well. So yeah, well, we should have brought a four-way or something. That's me pretty much all packed up then. Just my shoes to put on. There they are. Right, we're off. Oh. Let's go then, shall we? Oh. Still dark out there. I see them, they're waving to me. Well, they just were. Uh, so we're doing a bit of a car swap. So we were going to go in my friend's car, which is smaller than Ivy's car, but last night we persuaded our friend to come with us, So who lives up in North Wales. So he's meeting us here. So we're doing a little bit of a rejig and we're going in the bigger car now. All yeah. packed. Just waiting for the last person to come. Are you all right there, Paul? <laughs> he just wants me to fill his arse a few more times. <laughs> before we get the thing in the hole. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't realise I'm vlogging. <laughs> Oh, Your viewers will have a feeling. Yeah, I'll be, the comments section will be filling up as we speak. They're trying to find the seatbelt hole, just in case there's any doubt. Invisible dance. boyfriend and invisible swingers in the back. <laughs> <laughs> there's a train station by there, look. So if you want to get the train to Hollyhead, it's right by the, right by the port. Terminal 5, where on earth is that? Oh, there's a castle-y thingy. We've got a local in the car, he says it's the remains of an ancient fort. What's it called? Cairn Cubby. So, St Cubby's, uh, Cubby's Fort. Thank you. That's the, uh, the Welsh name for Hollyhead. Oh, cool. Yeah. I arrived with my brand new car, or at least second hand brand new, and I sat for about 40 minutes with the radio and lights on. <laughs> When I went to go, the battery had gone flat. And after about a 15 minute wait, we're on our way. <laughs> he just had a really random thing. It came out of the speaker in the car, it went, caution, ferry, frightened the living daylights out of us all. You must have a ferry detector on it. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> That's really unusual. I've never had any kind of message before. <laughs> I wonder what else it's going to start yeah, know, on. Like, just in case you didn't notice, there's a ferry ahead. It's laid dormant all these years. Oh, she's been waiting, hasn't she? Yeah. Well, hard to say. Say. Deck five, blue stairs. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Happy World! I'd like to go to Happy World. I like being happy. We have made a beeline straight for the food area. I had a weird optical illusion thing. I was convinced that was a mirror, and then I suddenly realised none of us were reflected in it. Ooh. We're gonna get some brekkie. Do you do non-dairy milks? Yeah, I've got some in our yeah, either. Good. Thank you. Well, here's my vegan breakfast with a view. And a coffee. The coffee is instant. We're moving, we're moving, look. Come to have a little look as we leave the harbour. I'm trying to find somewhere to poke my lens out of a window where there's not loads of people sitting. And it's easier said than done, I can tell you. 
What about through here? Oh, well, here, but can't actually see out. You see the lifeboat, though. There's a safety announcement going on. If you are leaving a cabin, you are advised to dress warmly before making your way to the assembly station. Oh yeah, I wonder if it's raining. Assembly stations can be identified by a square green and white sign with arrows in each corner, depicting a family group. In the event that the event is an emergency, please remain seated until the general emergency alarm will be sounded. The signal consists of seven or more short blasts, followed by one long blast on the ship's whistle, and is followed by a similar signal on the alarm. I should have brought my coat out. I'm cold. I could go back and get it, actually. What are those? Life rafts? Overcapacity life rafts. Well, one would hope there's enough for capacity, but oh well. There's a proper one up there, look. I'm going in, it's cold. It's cold. <laughs> oh, life jackets in there. Toilet. Now, why is that opening up? That was open a minute ago, and now it's opening again. Or perhaps it wasn't. There's some kind of shop anyway. I presume it's duty free. Yes, it is. There's a coffee bar there. Breakfast was quite expensive. It was 11.50 either for the vegan one or the meaty one. We're on deck seven at the moment. Apparently there's a movie round and they have all the latest movies showing for free. I'm not gonna go and do that. I'm gonna do some editing once I've had a walk around. But anyway, so we've got a bar, video games, gaming, lounge, living room, movie lounge, plus lounge. I presume that's for people that pay more, I don't know. And then cabins as well. But we've only got a four hour crossing today. Or is it three? Might be three. Should we have a little look upstairs? Let's go see what's up here. There's a gaming lounge here. There's just a few of these machines that we put coins in. And a few more in there as well. Oh, another restaurant. I thought we were in the food bit downstairs, but no, apparently. It is an actual restaurant. It's looking very empty at the moment, but it is breakfast time. Oh, there's a bar with booze. <laughs> there we are from the front. As I'm standing here, I can feel my legs like juddering. There's like a juddering coming up through the floor. Oh, movie lounge. Is that here? Maybe. Oh, yeah, movie lounge one. Oh, and there's a movie lounge two as well. What's it? Oh, wow. So. It's not like a giant cinema. I thought it was going to be like a cinema, but it's not, look. Um, it's just like a big lounge for watching movies on a big screen. There's a few people in here. Oh, so now I know what that's like. I've never been in one. And there's one here on the other side, which I assume is just going to be the same sort of thing, really. Is it open? Yes. Oh, there we are. There's people in this one, look. It looks like quite a nice quiet place to come and have a sleep, actually. I bet my boyfriend could sleep through a movie. Yeah, there's nobody in this one. There we are. Oh, how civilised. See that? <laughs> it looks like a mirror, but it's totally not, <laughs> obviously. There we are. I suppose you, what, do you pick them? Anyway, out we go. I wonder what else we can find. I do like exploring, I must say. Cabins that way. Not much to see here really, it's just a corridor full of doors. And this is one of the staircase areas. Shall we see what's upstairs? That looks like felt. It is felt. I just felt it. I'm just coming up to deck nine now. And it looks like we've got loads more cabins up here. Oh, great big window. I can look down. <laughs> It's that bar down there that I showed you just now. Oh, weeping angel. Don't blink. And deck 10, it would appear, is the sun deck, but there is no sun, so I might go and get my raincoat for that one. I am approaching the sun, in inverted commas, deck. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, it's very blue and very yellow. And very windy, as you can see from that rope. given the weather there's nobody else up here it's just us as in you and me my friends are still in the cafe keeping warm <laughs> I'm literally getting blown about by the wind my trouser legs are a flap oh this is so exciting I love being on boats it's probably because I don't go on them very often it's quite a novelty the camera's getting blown about oh oh <laughs> Maybe not one of my finest vlogging moments. 
I would go down there, but as those boys uh, just noticed, it's actually roped off down the bottom, so we can't go there anyway. I'm glad it's not raining anyway. I love being able to get up on deck and have a look, but it is a bit cold, I've got to be honest with you. I seem to be doing a bit of a weird, like, staggering walk. I'm all right now, because I'm sort of going... I'm not going this way. When I was going this way, I was going from side to side with the motion of the boat and the wind, and, and this bit's not quite so bad. <laughs> this is the biggest test my wind muffs have had so far, and I cannot believe they'd be passing it. I reckon I will have had to put captions on the screen. Whoa! Oh my god! Am I getting blown so much? Oh my gosh! Right, I'm gonna have to go in. <laughs> I'm getting blown so much that it's actually making me break into a run. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go in. Ah. <laughs> this is insane! Oh, 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 I'm doing some strange thing to my cheeks. My eyes are watering. It's a bit windy. <laughs> oh, blimey. Right, I'm going to have to get a tissue. Oh, good gosh. It's not like tears of upsetness, it's just like the wind was blowing tears out of my eyes. Oh my gosh. I'm going back to join my friends now. Quite a while later now, I've been editing my vlog, living my best life on the boat. Just went and got a coffee from the nice cafe bit. So much nicer than there. That was not the best, that one at all. Not bad prices, I think it was about £3.20. To be honest, you pay that in a just a shop on land usually don't you like a posh coffee shop so wasn't um totally horrified by the price anyway i'm gonna sup my delicious flat white now and carry on with my editing for a bit it's about 10 past 11 now i'm having a little break from my editing I wanted to have a little look out of the window not that there's a lot to see but it is nice to just look out and see the water my eyes are stinging because of all the lack of sleep last night and then staring at the screen as well this boat has not been bad for power points i've seen quite a lot so there's some by there, some up there on the wall opposite me. I've got my laptop plugged in where I'm sitting. Oh, I'm feeling tired now, I am. I've gone for a tonics tea cake, 55p, and some lemonade. I'm a bit thirsty. We're coming towards Dublin. <laughs> I should probably start to think about packing my laptop up actually, but I've made some good progress on Sunday night's vlog. Coming closer, look! It won't be much longer now and we'll be docking. We'll be heading back down to the car shortly, I dare say. We're just waiting for an announcement, a summons. Oh look, he's going and undoing the gate or something. Coming ever closer. Are we twisting in a bit? I rather fancy we're not going straight anymore. Could be an optical illusion though. We're getting really, really close now. Oh look at that, with all those containers on there. You can see vehicles driving around there. Great big cranes. God, they're great big things, aren't they? That one's working, look, can you see? It's, it's uh, some sort of gantry crane, I think. I'm surprised they haven't got us all in our cars, you know, ready, but obviously it's going to take some time to get off. There's that crane thing there, look, can you see it? Oh, it's loading containers onto the boats. Oh, they're piled up, aren't they? Look at them. Piled up high. There's that chap again down there. Oh yeah, look, he's opened those gates and he's put some traffic cones there now. For now, quite the hive of activity, isn't it? It's all very exciting, isn't it? I better get ready to get off. And all passengers without vehicles, please remain where you are and await further announcements regarding your decision. We're going in that bit there. Look where the big blue thing is. I bet that's where we're going. Or oh, we better go. Bye. Please pay attention to all instructions and the and of the vehicles that may be moving on the car deck. We're coming so close now. Look, but we really must go to our cars. But I just, I'm so curious. I want to see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, come in. Oh, don't leave me behind because I'm rubbish at, at remembering where the car was. We're winged down the stairs. 
We're just getting onto the car deck now. I can feel a cold blast of air blowing my fringe about. And here's our car. We are all raiding snacky bag. Perfect. Just what we need while we wait to get off. Those are all going off. It'll be us soon. And there'll be a tractor waiting the other side. IB, I was just noticed that these trailers here don't have the actual lorry cabs on them and IB was just telling me that they do that, they've got a special tractor that brings them on one at a time. So there we are. Oh, there's a bus coming on. What the heck? What's that doing? Oh, it's for the foot passengers, is it? Well, in my day, we used to just walk off. <laughs> there's another one, look. Cool. Oh, we're going, we're going. Oh, we're on oh, the charmed island. Yes, back in Europe. In Europe, yeah. Yay! Yay. Those yeah. are the days. Yeah. Oh, there's like tugs, I think. Are they tugs? I don't know. Yeah, that one is. Oh, look at all those containers. <laughs> Loads of them. Do you want me to put mine on for now, just to get us out of town? Sat well, nav is not all, kicking in. Yeah, I'm trying to get us out. What are all these big um, cylindrical things? Well, I guess they're gas or oil or oh, gas. gas. Yeah. Oil. What is that for the boats yeah, for, then? Well, or for export, I suppose. Oh. We used to call them gasometers. So he's going for a jog with there. I was just saying, it's a funny place to go for a jog. We're coming out now, and there's a toll to pay for the road apparently. So IB's ready to make a payment by card. My friend here, Natalie, has got a top tip, haven't you? She says use a card or a device, don't just pay by cash because she's had trouble in the past being notified that she hasn't paid when she has. Find. Find? Oh, that's not good. But I didn't pay. You didn't, yeah. Three euros. So there we are. If you just pay by card, it'll appear on your bank statement. There can be no question of whether you paid. Oh, off we go. Sat is now the, working at last. We have signal. Oh, tunnels, tunnels! Hey. Anyway, we're heading on now. I'm going to put the rest of today in tomorrow's vlog. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you liked it, please give it a like. Subscribe for more videos from me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!